So today we're going to make a game terrine. Um, an absolute staple really in any restaurants. We used to do it in the restaurant that I used to work in. Really, really delicious. And it's really quite simple, uh, although it looks like there's a lot of ingredients and it's quite complicated. It's not it's super easy. Um, so first job, we need to stretch this bacon um, so we can line our uh, terrine moulds. And that's really simple. Um, grab a knife and use smoked streaky bacon. And then you want to take super bacon and then just sort of pull your knife along it. So it goes bigger like that, you see? Now we need to mix our force meat. Liver alone, get it? Liver alone. So the sausage meat's in there, livers go in. We'll just do half. So we've used all the livers from the offal, so we've got pigeon, pheasant, partridge. That looks nice, doesn't it, David? David's not a fan. And then we're gonna go in with some mixed spice. Some nutmeg, some garlic, some breadcrumbs. We want to give our last. Uh, we'll go in with some herbs. So you want some thyme and some um, flat leaf parsley. So we just want to pull the leaves off the thyme. This really is one of my favourite things. Just served with some cornichons and some pickled onions, and then parsley. Just a small handful. splash of brandy and a nice punchy red wine. I've gone for a heavy Rioja. And then stir all that in. Uh, and then an egg. A whole egg. That goes in. And then mix it in. And then we want to heavily season that. Nice pinch of salt. Loads of pepper. I'm going to give that a mix. And then we'll just pop that in the fridge. Just while we do our other bits and pieces. I've got some a selection of diced game. So pigeon, partridge, pheasant, uh, venison. Uh, and we're just going to lightly fry that off in a little bit of oil. And then we can get to... Uh, Layering our terrines up. Give that a nice little flange of salt and pepper. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to get a new pepper mill. That's terrible. And we didn't put a lot of brandy in, but we can put brandy in here. Take that off the heat, literally just sealing that. It doesn't need any colour. Because it's gonna go into the oven at a low temperature for a long time. So there's our game done. <laughs> Now, get to building. So we'll put a layer of our force meat in there. So that's the livers and the sausage meat and all the spices. And you want to push that down, make sure there's no air gaps in there. And then we're going to put our game that we fried off. We're just going to push that in. And then another thin layer of our force meat. And some more bits of game. Let's be quite sporadic with this because we're going to slice it that way. So we're going to get a full cross section of all of this. And then we need to cover with another layer of this. Sausage meat. There we go. So then just fold the bacon in, but go from one side to the other. So when it's cooked, It'll look a lot nicer. Right, so when you've got them all to that stage, you want to cover them with foil. Nice and tight, like so. And then lid on. We need to put water into the tray so like halfway up the side of the terrines. And then they go into the oven at 160 degrees for about an hour and a half. If you've got a temperature probe, you want to take it to over 75 degrees. Um, we'll do both. We'll do it for an hour and a half to over 75. So, then we go with these bad boys. 
Right, so our game terrines have been cooking for about an hour and a half. Right, so I need to probe for the temperature. Right into the middle, 98 degrees. That is good enough for me. Right, so now we need to get these pressed. Uh, what am I doing? I'm stacking these on top of each other. You need to get them level so we get a nice... So they're not wonky. Oops. Yeah. Uh, and these need to go into the fridge with something on top of them for weight. Which I will do. I'm going to put these in the fridge and then we'll come back and we'll cut them and we'll enjoy them with some cornichons and some chutney. Cool, so terrines are, I think they're cooled. Yeah, so you put them in a bit of an ice bath after we press them. That's really nice. Um, serve that with some cornichons or some pickled walnuts. Simple, as it is. It'll keep in the fridge for about a week, but use it up faster. It's wicked for Christmas. This is all part of National Game Week. It's absolutely delicious. Recipes on the website, give it a go.